Thank you all for coming to listen to my icebreaker speech. The speech is a little about my past, a lot more about my present, and a little more about my future. When I started to write this speech, I thought to myself, where should I begin? How deep do I go? Well, let me begin with my backstory. When I was a teenager, I was raised within an authoritarian family. What do strict rules without a relationship create? They create a rebellion, and I jumped in head first. I began to use drugs as a coping mechanism to deal with my internal chaos and the turmoil that happened around the house. I coasted through my 20s from labor job to labor job, never knowing who it was that I am, living in a state of confusion and denial. Well, the drugs eventually lead you to crime, and the crime guarantees you a spot in jail. Suddenly, with this forced sobriety, I was finally given a chance to truly reflect on my chosen path. What I knew for sure was that things did not look good. From that moment on, I vowed to myself to change everything. A sober man, I moved to Lethbridge to start a new life in academia. Going back to school is a different concept when you're in your 30s. You have a different appreciation for knowledge. You place a higher value in learning because you now realize that you're investing in your future and the future comes quick. I was able to get a job at a local treatment center, helping other people deal with their problems and barriers. This invigorates me. It gives me the strength to continue bettering myself. For that, I am so grateful. When working with people in addiction, there's an importance in celebrating every small success. Through sobriety, I met my wife, Bailey, and now we are able to raise our five-year-old daughter and our two-year-old son in a loving, supportive, emotionally connected home. I've also discovered a passion for running. I have run many races in the past five years, including marathons and an ultra marathon of 55 kilometers. I hope that in another three years of hard work that I'll be finishing a second degree in the Masters of Counseling program. Then I will truly have the opportunity to apply my learned knowledge with my lived knowledge in a way that can really help people. So why did I join Toastmasters, you ask? Well, I can tell you my initial reason was to habituate myself to the stress of public speaking. It isn't an explicit fear that I'm dealing with like spiders or heights. This is something unconscious inside of me that makes me sweat and my eye twitch. I look forward to one day finishing a meeting and not having sweaty armpits. <laughs> but now that I'm here, I can tell there is so much more that I can benefit from. I see you all and learn something almost every time you speak. I love that. I can say that the reason that I'm here, maybe we're all here, is to grow in some shape or form into a confident, stronger person. A wise man recently told me that the butterflies never actually go away. They just learn to fly in formation. I think I've come to the right place. So that's, the whole length of my speech, <laughs> which the green light just turned on. So that's good. <laughs> All right. That Thank wasn't so bad. Thank you.